I'm about to show you some ways you can move lightning fast in the NPC software. What's up guys, this is the kid DZD, aka The Drank Kang live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you, if this is your first time with us, you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss out on super cool videos just like this one. Today I'm gonna show you a few of the shortcuts that I use in my music production that will totally answer the question, how do I move so quickly? Shortcuts are so important simply because it saves you seconds off of things that you do over and over again. And if you can save seconds off of those things you do religiously, then those seconds start to add up into minutes. And by the time you know it, you'll be saving crazy amounts of time while you're making your beats. Saving time is obviously gonna get you more work done and more work leads to distributing more music and also selling more music. Speaking of selling music and getting that money, the company DistroKid was so gracious enough to sponsor this video. They are a company that helps you get your music to all of those nice streaming platforms like Google Play, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Deezer, Napster, iHeartRadio, YouTube streaming, Amazon Music, all of these popular streaming platforms. DistroKid helps you get your music there. They have different type of plans, but if you want to make good use of DistroKid, I suggest using the $19.99 per year plan. It is awesomely amazing and it will give you features such as this one right here. This is my personal DistroKid account with my two singles that are on here. And I'm going to go ahead on and click on this feature right here called Splits. It takes you to this page right here. You can select one of your singles. Now you can split your revenue between all of the different collaborators and different parties that are inside of your project. And it makes it very, very simple for you to do that with this Splits feature. What happens is you can just go here and you can add a collaborator and then you can type in their email address and then you can go here and specify how much. So let's say I want to give this guy right here 50% of this project right here. Okay, I type in the email address, give him 50% and boom, it's done. I can add multiple collaborators, however many I choose. And the good thing about this is it is all private. Every single collaborator has their own page and you don't have to worry about anyone seeing anyone's information. If your collaborators do not have DistroKid, then they will instantly get a link to their email address that allows them to set up an account for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to change these splits at any time you want and you'll be able to add collaborators or delete collaborators at any time that you choose. If your collaborators don't have DistroKid, it doesn't delay your projects. DistroKid will just hold the percentages until they sign up. If they never sign up, then you are able to reallocate these funds to any different collaborator or yourself if you choose to. How cool is that? This recruitment feature, if I click here, what it does is it brings me to another drop down menu. And what recruitments are is if I wanted a collaborator to get a certain amount before these percentages are distributed, I can set that up here. So let's say I wanted this collaborator right here to get $300 before the splits are made. That means that they will get this $300 upfront. And then after that, they'll start getting their 50%. And you can do this to as many collaborators as you want that you have on your project. So basically in a nutshell, you now have DistroKid taking care of all of the different places that the percentages of your projects are going to. And as you can see, they do it very, very efficiently. DistroKid has different tiers of services, but make sure you get the service that is right for you and that incorporates all of these features. I'm gonna leave my personal link in the video description below and you guys will be able to sign up with DistroKid and get 7% off instantly. So whether you're distributing beats are you distributing full songs? Let DistroKid take care of all of the legwork for you. That way your focus as the creator can be solely on making music. So now let's jump into these shortcuts and I'm gonna show you how to become a ninja when it comes down to working through the NPC software. Let's do it. Okay, pretty much all of these shortcuts that I'm gonna show you happen in the MIDI grid. This is where all of the magic happens when you're creating your beats. Now, of course, you guys know about the basic shortcuts where you can select a note and you can move them left and right with the left and right arrow keys. You can also duplicate the note by holding Control and D. This will duplicate the notes and then you can move those around as well. You can also select all of the notes and you can hit Control D and you can duplicate them just like you can in pretty much any other software. Another shortcut is that if you highlight the note, you can simply hold Alt and now you can duplicate the note this way. And this will actually duplicate any note that you actually put it on. Some other shortcuts that you have is if you select a note, then you can hold Shift and you can use the arrow key up to shift the note to a upper octave. And you can use the Shift and arrow key down to shift it back down to another octave. Now, we all know that the MPC software helps us snap notes to the grid. It will snap it for all of the lines. But the good thing is if you hold shift, you can now grab the beginning point 
and you can release it from the grid to make it start anywhere you'd like to. You can also do it with the ending point. I love using these tools up here as well. This is the pencil tool. When you grab that tool, you can now draw in patterns just by holding your mouse button and dragging. Selecting the eraser tool right here will allow you to do the same by just dragging. Now the beauty about this is if you are on the pencil tool, what you can do is you can hold control and it automatically selects the eraser tool. So you can draw and then you can hold control and erase very quickly. Now, one thing I love about the NPC feature is the ability to deal with the velocities right here. You can literally change the velocities of each note. Now, when you select the pencil tool, you can now go on and draw the velocities of the notes, okay? And it will literally draw a velocity of any note that you touch. Now, a good shortcut to only touch the notes that you want, put it back on the select tool right here, and then you select only the notes that you want. So I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to select just these notes here. If I hit the pencil tool again, it will now draw only those notes that are selected and it skips the notes that aren't. This becomes very helpful when you have a lot of notes that are in sequence with each other and you only want to change the velocities on specific notes. One thing that I like to do is I like to work in half patterns. Half patterns means that this is an eight bar loop up here. One, one, two. 8-4. That means this is an 8-bar beat right here. Okay, but if you notice, I have half of the pattern done. So after I'm done with making half of the pattern, what I like to do to be quick with my patterns is I hit Control A, that selects every note that's there, and then I hit Control D and now duplicate it to the ending of the bar. And now I have that pattern duplicated again at the ending of my bar. And then all I do is simply just change up something at the end you know, just to give it a different flair. Now we all know when we select a note on the NPC software, then we select another note, it deselects the previous note. But one thing I like to do is hold shift, and now as I select, it will keep all of those notes selected. Sometimes when we are working in the MIDI grid, we may end up in a situation to where we have overlapping MIDI notes, something like this. When we select the one that's on top, the one that's underneath goes behind the one that's on top. So instead of moving this one out of the way to get to this one and then moving it back, all we need to do is just hold Control and Alt and then we click the underlying note and now it brings it back to the top and now we can do whatever we'd like with it. The next shortcut that I'm gonna show you guys has to do with your inserts on tracks. Your inserts are where you put your plugins. What I like to do is use my master channel right here as a placeholder so I can duplicate plugins. What that means is I use this EQ all of the time, my equality EQ. That EQ is now on my master channel instead of my channel where my program is. But I'm gonna use this master channel as a placeholder. So as I go through my tracks, I can now hold Alt and duplicate this plugin, and now I can use another instance of it. And if I go to another track, let's go to track two, and we'll add another plugin program. Okay, if I'm working inside of this plugin program right here and I want to put another EQ, I can hold Alt and now drag it to that program and open up another instance of the EQ. I can go to track three and we can put another program on there and I can do the same thing. So essentially, what I'm doing is using this master channel as a placeholder for plugins that I use a lot of. That way, I don't have to keep going into here and then selecting the plugin and putting it back on the track and then going back in and then selecting the plugin and putting it back on the track. All I literally have to do is just hold Alt, drag it to the track and now open it up and I'm ready to go. Another thing that I like to do with copy and pasting is putting notes in a specific place. Okay, now when I duplicate these notes, I'm gonna select them all and then I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate them. It just puts them at the ending of where my last notes are. If I do it again, it's gonna put it at the ending of where my last notes are. But what if I wanna take these notes here and I wanna put them over here on 6-3? What I can do is I can just go here and click 6-3 and then I can select my notes, hit Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. And it's instantly gonna put them where my cursor is. If I wanna take these notes and now put them on 4-2 right here, all I do is click 4-2, put my cursor there and then hit Control V to paste again. 
and it'll put those notes there. So I can specifically place notes in a specific part with just clicking and putting my cursor where it needs to go. A lot of you guys see me moving from track to track without having to hit this bar right here. The way I do that is I simply hold control and I use the right and left brackets to go to my different tracks. And the same goes for my sequences. I can do the same by holding control plus shift and hitting the right and left brackets. Labeling tracks can be a painful process if you use this method here by double clicking on the track and then titling it whatever you want and then going to the next track, selecting it and then titling it whatever you want. So why not go to the track view and label your tracks from there very quickly. I can label bells. I can click here. I can label guitars. I can click here and I can label horns. Very, very quickly, I can label all of my tracks just by clicking on them here. And if you notice, it changes all of them here as well. Again, I just wanted to go over a few shortcuts that I use a lot of when I'm working in my projects. It's just that I do it so quickly and so fast that a lot of times it's hard to see me actually doing it. So I just wanted to break it down in one video, the main shortcuts that I use in my music production. And once you get very, very good and very familiar with these shortcuts, I can promise you that this will cut down on your beat making process tremendously. If you guys want to see more shortcuts in the MPC software, along with these that I just showed you, you simply go up here to the three lines, go down to where it says help, and then you go where it says keyboard shortcuts. And these are all of the shortcuts that are in the MPC software. What I would focus on are the edit shortcuts and also the navigate shortcuts. The editing shortcuts will help you when you are editing your MIDI and also your audio files and the navigate shortcuts will help you to go from page to page in different areas of the MPC software very quickly. So for all of you beginners that are taking on the MPC software for the first time, I encourage you to make this part of your learning process. It will help you out a lot. For your advanced users, it may be a few tips in here as well that you picked up that you can start implementing in your beat making process. If you found anything of value in this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and also drop me a comment below and give me an idea of the tips and the shortcuts that you use when you're making your beats. That way we all can share and learn more. The support that you guys show the video helps to put it in the eyes of a lot more people that this can help. So I really appreciate you guys helping out with your thumbs up and your comments. If you guys want to say what's up or send your boy any type of love, Instagram is probably the best place to do that. Make sure you guys give me a follow at the Drank Hang. Shoot me a DM and I promise I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. This is the Kid DZD, aka the Drank Hang, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace out.